My name is Rose Kapiser. I'm an intervention specialist at Ross High School in Ross Local School District. Um, the class I'm currently teaching in is English. Um, it's a junior level class. It is one of our lower level classes and we do have students in there that are on IEPs and also students that have behavioral plans. So it's a pretty interesting class. We do have students that lack motivation and it's hard to find topics that they're interested in. Since many of our students have behavior plans, we decided to do a topic that they could easily relate to. Um, a lot of them sometimes have poor attitudes, so our driving question was, how can you fix something that affects your attitude negatively to help improve yourself? Okay, so you know we've been talking about what? Attitudes. Attitudes. Sorry. And what specifically did we talk about yesterday when we did our graphic organizer? Affects what affects them? Negative and positive, like trying to affect the negative to be positive. Very good. So, we're going to do a project all about attitudes. Okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a question, called a driving question, which I'm going to write in here, and you are going to use that question for the extent of the project. Okay, so this is what's going to drive you to the answer you're looking for. Okay? So, your question is. How can you adjust your negative attitude to improve yourself? Is this something you can answer real quick? Well, yeah, it depends on you. Well, what kind of things do you need to know to be able to answer it? What, what, your, bad what your negative attitude is. What your negative attitude is, that's one thing. What else? How to fix it. How to fix it, what else? What affects it. What affects it, we said that. We said, what's your bad attitude, what affects it, and why? 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 Why it affects you. During the anchor activity to get the students interested, um, a lot of our students like music, so we decided to pick some rap songs that they enjoy. Um, and they listened to it and they were all about attitude. So afterwards we talked about the different rap songs and analyzed them to figure out what was affecting their attitude negatively and what also affected their attitude positively because we selected songs that showed how the singer fix their attitude to make huge improvements for themselves and become successful in their lives. What did you get from this song? What is it, what is it about? Like in one or two sentences, can somebody tell me what it's about? Um, uh, Fine, let's see if somebody else can answer. Coming from the bottom. Coming from the bottom, how so? Um, he was ghetto and poor and now he's rich and famous. He was ghetto and poor and now he's rich and famous. He's starting his life around to make something better. He's turning his life around to make something better? Very good. Yeah. Yes, he does. So, what do you think his attitude was at one point? Bad. Like, Pretty bad. Like yeah, he didn't live the best of lives when he was younger, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's not always the best life to have. Sometimes. Right, then he overcame it. He worked hard and changed his attitude a little bit, and actually he's now doing very well for himself, right? Okay. Is there anything in the song in particular that stuck out to you? Um, once we started that, students were started thinking of ideas of things that affected their attitude negatively, and we started brainstorming and writing them on the board. And during this time, um, students were also making a poplet of the different reasons why things can ne affect our attitude negatively. So for right now, I'm going to write some of the ideas that you say, but you're going to have to decide how to put it into your poplet. All right? So we have teachers. What else? Uh, other people's attitudes affect mine sometimes. Other people? Like who in specific? Like if my dad comes home from work. So family? He's, he's in a bad mood and it puts me in a bad mood. Okay. So we're just going to put your family because that can cover a lot, right? So your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. Um, a poplet is something like a web diagram. Students are able to create their own web diagrams as however they please. They can adjust colors, the text. Um, it's kind of neat because it's a very hands-on tool and a lot of our students like the hands-on activities. So being able to create different boxes and add in their text and make their own branches and make their poplet look however they want is really pleasing to them and definitely kept them motivated throughout the process. In order to plan for this lesson, I met with the general education teacher on a regular basis since we both work together and teach at the same time. Um, we specifically looked at technology because we knew a lot of the students our hands on and do much better with technology. So things like the poplet, comic strips, videos, or just working on the computer with Google Docs is huge for these students. Um, we weren't sure if a lot of them have worked with those 
pieces of technology before so some of us or so we looked at it before and we decided that we might need to train the students a little bit about the different pieces of technology um, each of them since our high school students only needed a brief orientation to each piece of technology and were able to figure it out on their own and even some of the students who maybe missed a day were actually able to figure out the technology completely on their own without any assistance from us once the anchor activity was over a lot of the students mentioned what affected their attitude negatively the most and based on those answers we grouped the students so that they could do a comic strip or a video on that specific topic. For instance, a lot of students thought that school affected their attitude negatively, so we grouped some of them for school. Um, and then they were able to create a comic strip or video clip about why school has a negative impact on their attitude. In order to create the comic strip, we used an app on the iPad called Comic Life. And getting a car and then the car wreck. And okay. then what? You missed your bike for school. Right, and then your next page will be Meanwhile. Four more square. Right! <laughs> Let's just do it like that. And that's, 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 and that's enough. And that's fine with me. Really? Yeah. That's all we have to get? Yeah, those two pages will work. Awesome! Get those two pages. Once that was completed, the students then were asked to work individually to create a brochure on how to fix their attitude based on school or whatever their topic was for the comic strip or video. So we used Google Docs or Google Drive to create the brochures. Um, there are sample templates on Google that you can use, so many of the students used those. Some created their own. Once they started with the template, they were able to use the research tool on Google Drive and did most of their research there to figure out how to improve their attitude. Once they started that, they were able to type in all the necessary information for the brochure, and we didn't give them much guidance on what was required for the content in the brochure. The only thing that we really wanted to focus on was how well they organized the material. Um, but shockingly, they did a great job with the content and had way more than we ever expected them to put in for a brochure. Towards the end of the process of the brochures, when the students were starting to finish up, we had some experts in the field come in, and those were our school counselors. Um, they came in and they talked to the students about their different brochures and offer some suggestions about how to maybe adjust something or maybe other ways to help fix a negative attitude. It was really great to see the counselors come in and also play a part in the classroom setting and they actually loved coming because they said that they don't always get to see the students in a classroom setting. Um, and the students actually responded really well to the counselors and were excited that they were there because they said well they know all about this but, so we should <laughs> hear some more information from them or get some ideas from them and they did a really great job and really spruced up the project a lot. On the brochure we also made a QR code for each student's groups about the comic strip or the video so that QR code when scanned will take them to the comic strip or the video so other students who are seeing these brochures later can also see a fun little clip or comic strip. Once the brochures were completed we made copies and put them up in the counselor's office um, the counselor did the proof of all the brochures before, beforehand to make sure that when students picked them up that they were accurate and were able to be used. Um, we have slots in the counselor's office where we could keep these so students can freely pick them up as they please. Um, and many of the students also have QR, QR code scanners on their iPhones or iPods. So many of them have been using that QR scanner to also see the comic strip and we've heard really great things from students because they really love the piece of the comic strip and video attached to the brochures. Overall, I was very pleased with the project. Um, to give so little directions to the students and to typical students that need a lot of direction usually, it was very impressive to see how well their projects turned out. So with that little instruction, they were giving us content in the brochures that we never expected them to put in there. Um, they did a really good job and I was somewhat worried to even putting in the counselor's office because I didn't know if they'd be accurate, but not one of them were turned away and we were actually able to use every single brochure to put in the counselor's office because they were that good.